Let's learn how to create this really cool wicker or rattan basket in Blender really fast without struggling of modeling all these, um, how you say it in English, I don't know, um, these lines, not lines, but these patterns, if you know the word for, for this, let me know down there in the comments, I have no clue how this is called in English, but I will show a really cool trick how we can make a small pattern and just apply it to any object in Blender and have some really, really cool result really fast, so let's do it. Okay, let's jump straight into Blender and here I will just select both camera and light and I will delete it because I don't need those two, but I will actually use default cube and create a simple basket shade out of this. So basically I will go press tab and if you don't have this menu, this is because I'm using a free plugin that is called a machine tool. It's a really cool one. I'm talking about this plugin in my very first or very second episode on this channel, so check it out. And yeah, it's free, it's just a simple way to go straight from object to face, vertex or edge, instead of just pressing tab and then go here or pressing one, two or three on a keyboard. It's just a personal preference. And also here you can see what I'm pressing on my mouse and keyboard. All right, now I'm in a face view, I will select the top face X and delete face. That's the first thing that I want to do. Right, then I will just press Ctrl R, go right here, add a loop cut, right click to confirm it and then S to scale it like that. Then we will add here in a modifier subdivision surface. Okay, and go with amount of three level viewports. So something like this is cool. And also we can play a little bit maybe with this and then go back and I want S shift Z and I will scale it on everything except Z. So maybe scale it a little bit down like this. And this is the basic shape of my basket that I want to have. All right, perfect. Now that we made a basic shape of the basket, we don't need to model these, again, I don't know the name of it, we just need to create a simple pattern that we'll, we'll apply with almost one click on all the basket or any object in Blender. So how to do it? Okay, I will go to the top view by pressing seven on a keyboard, G and move it, move this a little bit here. Then, okay, let's go right there and press Shift A and then add a plane scale it down, I will go with S and Y and scale it something like this and now I will go to face edit mode, press Control R and add two loop cuts. By scrolling with the mouse you can add as many loop cuts as you want, I will add two, okay, and press S and X and I will move it towards the address, something like this, okay, and then I will go with this one, G, Z and move it down, with this one, G, Z and move it up press one to go to the front uh, view and it looks almost same, like I nailed it almost 100%. It's pretty cool. Also what I want to do is to select both of them, press Control B, add bevel and with scroller of the mouse add more of these um, cut loop cuts, so something like this to have more like a wavy shape and this is cool. Okay, now we need to add a thickness to this. We can either extrude it or we can add solidify modifier. So let's go here, add solidify and add the thickness, desired thickness that you want. So maybe something like this, maybe smaller. Personal preferences when you're happy with the result, just go here and say apply. All right, this is the first wave. So let's go to the second wave. Shift D, duplicate, move it on Y axis, something like this. And then we want to rotate this, R, Z, and 180. Just type, type 180 on the keyboard, and that's it. We have these two, we want two more. So select both of these, and Shift D, duplicate, and just move it up, and use approximately the same distance, and that's it. So you can see that this is almost rectangular type of shape. We want, for this uh, pattern, I want more squarish type, so I will go with S, scale it, no, no, select everything. S, scale it on X axis, and something approximately like that. Perfect, so we have this. And I want to add two more throws, or whatever is the name of these, these things here, and uh, that goes through these holes. So, again, seven, to go to the top view, shift, a and go to the plane, add a new plane, move it somewhere here and basically I want to S, X, scale it down on X axis, S, Y, scale it a little bit up and so now we need to properly scale this, so how much? Well, it's really simple, I will show you. Basically, you can see now on both sides there is small portion that is hanging over these vertical elements, so we want the 
uh, when you add this and this portion to be equal as this gap right here. So I will show you really quickly what is that, but I will now go with S and Y and approximately do something like this. Maybe it's too much, but I will see. If we select everything, because this is a pattern and we want to create a seamless pattern, when we make a copy of this and put it right there, see, we want this gap and this gap to be the same. So these are, are these two are touching. So I think this is pretty fine. So let's, let's uh, undo this. Okay, and I want to add a depth thickness to this. So go to the face and this time I will press E and extrude it a little bit like that. Okay, then go to front view by pressing one on the keyboard right there. And I think this is cool. Okay. I can make this wider, so S and X and made it like that. And let's see, S, X, like that. I think this is okay. Now, Shift D to duplicate it and move it right there. And I think we have really good pattern right there. So I will select all of this. And uh, basically, let me show you one more trick. We want this middle gap between these two to be the same like we add these two gaps. So I think it's not the same. So we need to move this one a little bit inside and this one a little bit inside. And I think now it's almost there. Let's see if I duplicate this and put it here. Uh, not yet. So we need to move this one a little bit more inside. And this one, this is just eyeballing. There is probably a proper way to do it. But for this demonstration, this is cool. Now I will select all of this, press Control J or Command J on a Mac, not this, but J. Where is the J? It's right there. Okay, and then I'm just merging them into one mesh. Perfect. Now that we did this, now we need just to go to Edit Preferences and enable a Blender default plugin that is not enabled by default. It's Tissue. Tissue. Okay, I have it enabled. You will have this kind of situation. Just enable it. Go right here. Save preferences, close this and press N on the keyboard to load the side menu, side panel, find tissue, it's right there and the fun begins. So select the pattern, select with the shift your object that you want to apply this pattern on and now just press tessellate and you can leave everything as default, just make sure that you select quads. We can uh, get back to these options later and press OK and you will have something like this. If I press G, and move this out, you will see what I have. Let's let's also move this out. So we have the original one, we have the new one, but the new one is a little bit strange. So basically we have these lines, these lines that I wanted to go like vertical, they're horizontal, so we need to rotate them. There are a few ways how you can do it. One way is to select the pattern, R, Z and go with 90 degrees, perfect and then control A and just apply rotation. And then just go select the basket and refresh. That's it, now it's much better. So this is it, but we have these gaps. Okay, how to fix that issue? Really simple. Let's go here to data and find tissue tessellate. And here we have all the options. You can also rotate it here and do other things and about rota uh, under the rotation, you can bring it back to 90 degrees or like that. That's the second way how you can do it. But before we do that, uh, I want to go with the scale. I want to put the four amount of the scale is four. It's just random. You can see if I go less, it's really thin. So I want if you go more, it will be more wavy and like that. But for me, I think four is really cool. Um, sweet spot. And also we need to close the gap. So we need to go with the merge option here, merge. And we want uncheck open edges only and also we want to go here with maybe maybe like that let's see maybe even less 0 0.05 almost there 0 0.08 okay this looks decent we merge everything yeah and what happens here 0 0.07 it's better 0. Point, ah, let's let's find a sweet spot 0. 0.06 also what we can do yeah this this maybe 0. 0.05 let's see if if this works no 0. 0.06 okay this is cool another thing is that if you don't like the pattern you can change it you can just make another one i have one here 
and we can delete this for example and just go with this and this and say I want to tessellate it one more time G and move it here you can really easily switch the patterns uh, this time let me show you really quickly right here I will go again scale 4 and uh, we can shade uh, smooth shading and uh, let's see about the merge option 0 0.0 zero one yeah this is cool this is also cool it goes like that if I want to rotate it let's see rotation one yeah but I don't want like that I would I want it like this so this is also cool so any pattern that you can pattern that you can create these one are similar uh, this is a little bit more dense this is not like they are similar so I just want to show you how you can really easily, really easily switch the pattern also what is really cool these two are connected so if you want uh, to change the shape of the basket you just need to go to this one to edit and whatever you want to edit for example you want to make this narrow and go back and just go to this one set ref click refresh and you will have this or you don't want this maybe maybe you want this wider maybe you want this wider I don't know let's go back here set refresh and this is it okay and now we can go and use uh, this environment uh, this world and add environment or blah, 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 environment color environment texture and i can add any of hdr that i have right here so let's go to hdr i will go with the studio this one small studio and uh, go to film and make it transparent and now if we go to view to render view and set from ev to cycles and from cpu to gpu we can add a material to this one new material set the color maybe some kind of this color maybe less saturation I don't know and this is really cool we have really simple basket you can also change the pattern uh, and make it more mm, less dense more view through this and uh, have this kind of effect and also you can do plenty of things you can add any kind of shape and just with this tessellate and pattern you create it doesn't need to be this kind of pattern you can create any kind of pattern you can create really really amazing complex things using this this tessellation option is basically like instances instead of using instances you can make one and like populate the object with these kind of instances but this tutorial is about making the basket and let me show you a bonus part how to create a lid of this basket if you want it's really simple and easy I will go to the original one let's go back right here go to the original one go to the edge edit select the top edge shift D to duplicate it okay then escape P separate by selection go back to the object and go to this this one that we made and now I want to go to the modifiers and apply this one okay then I want to go W to go to this or right click depends what you're doing what you're using right mouse button for a right click or W for right click depends uh, just convert it to curve perfect I will hide this press H and hide it we have this as a curve we have curve settings here and I want to go and uh, create let's go shift s and set cursor to selected okay it's right there and I will create mesh circle okay I will go oh, s yeah yeah this is the circle I will go with a smaller one right there and what I like to do right here is maybe even smaller even smaller G and move it on y-axis until I'm out of this cursor somewhere here okay then press dot on the keyboard and instead of median go to 3d cursor or you can go right here instead of uh, median go to 3d cursor that means that I will now rotate this um, on 3d cursor not on the center point okay and then press shift D to duplicate then press right away R Z and say 90 on keyboard press enter then just press shift R two more times if you do it in this order you can really easily just repeat this with shift R otherwise you need to do every single time from the beginning okay now that we did this I will select all of these four circles control J merge it into one object and then go to the modifiers and add screw modifier like this 
Ooh, where is this? It's right there. Okay, now just go with the screw option and see, you don't want this middle part to be like that. And why is this happening? Let me just hide this. It's because that's perfect. Uh, that happens because we can learn something new because this is the origin point and we want origin point to be in the middle of the object. So double your right click and go set origin to geometry. And now it's right here. Now we can add screw modifier. And now if you go up, Woohoo, this is it. We made really cool part like a row part or something like that. Perfect. Then we want to add array modifier. Array modifier here. We want to uncheck this and go with the constant offset. Go right here, set zero on X and go with the Z until you're almost there. We can go a little bit up and then set merge and we can merge it by going Z down until it's merged. You will see that happens like that, like it's merged. Okay, now we have this. We will add also curve modifier and go right there, select our curve. Perfect. And uh, also what we want to do is to go and change from X to Z and goes around the curve. We can Go with, I don't know, a few of these. Oops, too many. So something like this. We can also, if you make this smaller, let's go increase this. Okay. We can just go like that. G and ooh. Apply everything. So we can go right here and say, oops. Control A, Control A, Control A, apply everything. G, move it right here. Perfect, we have this kind of uh, lid that I like. And also we can use this one, right click and convert to mesh, back to mesh. Then we can go to the face edit view, select everything, press space and uh, just type fill. And you will see this grid fill option, we want this and now, we want to populate this with uh, the same the same pattern. So just select the pattern and shift select the object, tessellate and let me show you a really cool trick. We can select merge and smooth shading. And you can see right here that this is, um, it has some kind of density, but we want to have more to be even dense. So the density depends of the subdivision of the object that you are doing. So I will press control two to add more subdivisions. So let's let's go here, control two. We have more subdivisions and now I will do the same. Oh, I don't want this. I want only this, control two. So select this object, this object, tessellate, set the scale for, for four. And can we set a four? Four, yeah, we can. Okay, and here we have it, we can move it right there. Now, now it's maybe two dance. See, ah, it's two dance. So we don't want two, we want one. Perfect. And uh, just tessellate again. And now if you move it, yes, this is something that I like. And yeah, here we have it. We can go back to our render view, select this, shift this, shift the bag, and then control L and link materials. And perfect. We have really cool basket with the lid and everything we can can move this together if you if you want i will go back to median and uh, maybe rotate it like like this and just open it like it's uh, semi open something like let's let's see this and this and move it here and yeah it's totally not logical but why not? It's cool. So you can do whatever you want. You can also make another smaller ring like this uh, over the top of this and uh, do whatever you want. I will just go and um, have only this in my render view. And uh, with really simple, cool tessellation trick and with uh, that tissue plugin that is Blender default, you can create this or plenty other different uh, 
type of patterns that you can apply over any any kind of uh, object in Blender that you want. Now have fun experiment and try this on your own. Also check my video about UV unwrapping. If you have issue with UVs, this is really important in any 3D software. See you there.